Let me lube the whole tube. All right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of From the Gallery with your boys. <laughs> it's Gels, Dakota, and we got Keith. Today, we brought him in for an episode of From the Gallery. take cars from our gallery that you guys Ooh. submitted and we kind of talk about them a little bit. Yeah. Talk about what color we like and then uh, <laughs> then we rate them. Hell so, yeah. If you want to see your car on a future episode of From the Gallery, make sure to drop it in our gallery at fitmanindustries.com forward slash ad or click the link below. And then email us at shop at fitmanindustries.com with the subject line, review my ride. And we'll put it on the list. We'll get to it eventually. It's a big list, all right? We're, it we're, is a very big list. Through there. Yeah, do they know what episode. edition this is, brother? This edition? is hot hatch edition. Hot hatch. Ooh, I didn't even hot know hatch. I just surprised Jell. Now Jell's all scared and nervous. It all makes sense. Oh, oh Jesus. Hot hatches. I'm ready to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Hatches Alrighty. are my sh Hell yeah. All right, so wheel start suspension from the industries.com. Don't the forget plug. the BBS wheel giveaway we got going on. Pick up the dope shirt. It's dope. A free set of BBS wheels. You want to yell more? Ah! Okay. It's awesome. All right, it's cool. Let's awesome. Into it. So we are into our first hot hatch. Hot. And we have a 2010 Subaru mm. WRX. Spicy. Classically on some BBS. RS2 Ooh, on the BBS on wheels. The BBS Ooh, look how convenient that is. Oh, wow. Got a little bit of wide body action on it. It's got 18 by 12, negative 12, Ooh, all around. It's yeah. an airlift performance. And this is ASC 13 STI. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So we only got a couple pictures here, although, yeah. but we do have their Instagram. Ooh, Check colorful. it out. Upload some more photos to the gallery, brother. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I think it looks phenomenal. I love the wheels on this. The white on white looks tight, bars. But uh, no, <laughs> the wide body choice now. I'm not feeling it because Ooh. with these, I don't know what are they called, the Stink Eye? I don't know, they got a bunch of different names stink for eye? I'm pretty sure it's called Stink <laughs> Eye, want, w right? or STI. These are, uh, they're, they're kind of a rounded body. Like, okay. they don't have hard lines and when, to me, the, the wide body kits on them look a little awkward. Mm -hmm. They stand out too much. It doesn't flow nice and smoothly with the bike. It's not a bad looking car by any means. I'm gonna click on the, the, old, uh, the, IG. the old IG handle here and see what we got going on. The BBS wheels look phenomenal on there. I love when they have those wings, like the STI mm -hmm. wing on there. Yeah, it looks really good. I love those on the hatches. They look so damn good. Um, the diffuser on it, I love. It looks like it has a nice exhaust on there. Fitment is on point with the kit. Ooh, a video of it rolling. So rolling, it looks pretty good. If I were to build an STI, this would be what I would build. Keith, your number one fan. Yeah, it's it's pretty close to like what I'd like. Um, I'm, I have a weird thing for white vehicles, and uh, this thing la just laid out with the over fenders. It looks great. Yeah, I really can't really find anything to complain about. <laughs> All right, Keith's type know. of car. Alrighty. Now usually. I'm not a huge fan of the over fenders and everything like that. However, yep. I do like it on this car. Okay, just, so I'm just no, 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 no. Just in the fact that because like they are a softer car, like and they and they are just a little bit narrower. Yeah. Like especially in the in like that year of the car. Yeah. So I think just adding that little bit more to it really helps it out. Um, I absolutely love the wheel choice. I think it looks absolutely killer. The white on white with the black accents with like the diffuser and everything looks really good. The wing is killer. Ready? All right, on three. You get ready, Keith? You got your number? Oh, yeah. All yeah. right, one to 10. Yep. One out of 10? Yeah. All right, good. One, I'm ready. two, three. Eight, eight, eight and a half. Five. Up next, we have a 2013 Ford Focus ST. This is Jay Beeks 2013 Ford Focus on some work seekers, a toil proxies tires, and airlift performance air Ooh, suspension. This thing is balling. And you got a little bit Spicy. of some over fender action going on here as well. These flares are one off. He molded them himself to the, or like he did all the molding to them and made them fit. These are one off fender so it's flares. Not a, it's not a kit. That no, a... they're these are not on any other Focus ST. He made them himself. Mad respect. Also, he produces these grills. They're called the J Beaks Deep Dish Grill. And those are made by him, and they're, let me kind of see, they, they have a deeper inset than the other girls. Gotcha. Wow. <clears throat> so it's super cool. That's just what I want to touch on. So he does a lot of he, custom things. Yeah, he do, and he does all this stuff himself. He cool. also has an RS wing, but if you look, if we have a rear shot here, if you look real close, there's like a, kind of like a 
lip yep. on it. Okay. And he molded yep. that into the wing himself mm. too, which I think is super cool. So anyways, um, I love the work wheels on here. He has the Toyo Prox tires, got a good set of tires, and he's on the airlift, which <laughs> we're brothers now. <laughs> no, I love this car. I absolutely love, especially, of course, when people do like one-off stuff like this. You know, yeah. they, they take the time to learn it. They, they do it themselves. They create something that's not like anything else out there. If you wouldn't have said anything, I would have never known. Right, yeah. yeah. It, like, looks absolutely, it looks like a kit, which he yeah. did a fantastic job on this. The fitment of it looks really, really good. The rest of the kit, I think, flows with it really nice. The touch of that spoiler, too, with the little, yeah. 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 little ducktail on the end of it, I think is really killer. I am like 10 times over more impressed with this car uh, after finding out that everything is handmade by himself. Uh, I mean, definitely like for one of the more common modded cars nowadays, yeah. like it's hard to this see is, unique ones. Yeah. Right. This is the answer to that. Yeah. Once again, I really, really see anything that I uh, hate about it. Yeah. That, wow. mod, that mod list is just, the, it just goes on. It just keeps going. Forever. Just There's keeps a lot going. Of, a lot of heart and soul poured into this car. That's definitely. That is super impressive. <laughs> All right. On three. Ready? <laughs> One. Two, three, nine, 9.5. 5. Oh no. We got a 2006 <laughs> Volkswagen GTI on some BBS RS's, 17 Ooh, by 9 and a half, wow. plus 32 again wow. on airlift performance air suspension. Okay. This okay. is Ryan Hassan, Ryan, Ryan. Hassan, 2006 Ryan. Ryan. Volkswagen GTI. The color combination on this is a little interesting. Yep. You know, usually you see like the gray and you got like, like, like the polished color, you got like the silver color or something of the sort. Okay. He went the gray with the white, which I think is a bold move. Okay. Bold move, Cotton. The interior, I actually really like. <laughs> However, on the outside, the, the white with the gray, I think is just, I think it's almost a too much of a contrast a little bit. Yeah, um, I agree. For like what exactly he was going there for. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh my. Wow. He's got the tank. He's got, he's the, got I didn't the, look at the wheel. He's got the spare. <laughs> the flex. Oh my The flex. God. I take it back. I love this thing. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't have the roll cage or like the compressor the warmers. Bar. Yeah, he's got the little compressors, little, like little, little like, blankies. Little like leg warmers <laughs> on the <laughs> This thing is super cool. Okay, this thing is really cool. Just moving on, I guess like the clear taillights. I know they're a little older style. I know that is like- It's a Euro thing It's a too. Euro thing, yeah. especially on these cars I have seen a lot when we go through the gallery. I think if it wasn't for the little bit of white on the front, It'd be really, I, I would really, really like it. The interior, absolutely knocked out of the park. I love the amount of work that went into the interior. Um, so there, that that gives a lot of a lot of solid points for me. Uh, interior, very well done. Um, I, I think uh -huh. it, I think it looks, oh, yeah. I think it looks pretty sweet. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Oh, so it is. Coffee. Was it a chai still latte? not my, <laughs> still not, not my coffee, coffee either. either. But it's no it's, tea, no coffee. It's. Chai latte. There's a lot of effort here, and the fact that he sank an extra BBS wheel is <laughs> not only so. Not only that's a it, hard flex. Not only yeah. is it like despair, but it's just like yeah. showed. Yeah, like right. He's in like, the oh, by the way, <laughs> like no, this ain't going to like the spare tire compartment. This is going right here. Um, my main gripe is the white on the exterior. Mm. I feel like if he would have went with maybe black, where everything else is white <laughs> that's painted, minus the wheels, he could have kept the white wheels and just made everything else like a contrasting black. Um, or even just a light smoke on those taillights would have helped a ton, I think. I, I do like the approach that it's different. And a lot of these GTIs, you see them big, wheels. That's yes. it. I think the white on the outside does not flow. It's too much of a contrast. It looks weird. I think the rear diffuser back there should just be black. I think that mm -hmm. would look a lot better. Mm -hmm. The Euro style taillights, no, sir, not a fan. The fitment looks like it's pretty good in the rear. It's tucking pretty good in the front. I'm not sure if that's just to get it as low as possible, but I'd like to see that more fender to lip because that's just, that's personal preference though. A lot of this is. And then for the interior, too much diamond pleated stuff for me. Like the, the A pillars are, it looks like the roof is like this. I feel like this guy had diamond pleated diapers growing up. Like this is crazy. I got just, a question. Yeah. Who hurt you? <laughs> Me. It's a lot. And in my opinion, that's something that less is more. Yeah, absolutely. On three. Okay. Ready? Good. Ready. Yep. One, two, three, seven. 4.5. Six. 
Hyundai Veloster on some XXR 527s. This is Hyundai. XK Velocers. We got wow. some BC racing coilovers, solid choice for coilovers. Ooh, okay. Negative three degrees rear camber. Uh, it's got some exterior modifications on. Okay. It looks like some hydro dipping, some carbon fiber side skirts, uh, aftermarket wing. A um, bunch of interior stuff, and then we got some performance stuff done as well. Kind of going into this, I think they got some good fitment going on here. The BC Racing uh, coil's a good choice. It looks like the exterior modifications. It looks really clean. The wing is a little bit different of a choice, but everything else I think they nailed pretty much pretty much perfect. I, I think it looks really sharp. The white paint really shows off the body lines on this mm -hmm. thing too. Like I didn't realize it had that little bottom, little body line towards the bottom of the door. That driver's side door is like a barn door. <laughs> yeah. It is it doesn't massive. It, doesn't it have a suicide door in the back? It, on one side. On yeah. one Just side, on, on one the side, passenger yeah. side. Yeah. So to compensate that, they made the passenger side door shorter and uh, that's, the, that's weird. First time I saw <laughs> it, I, I was grabbing a phone charger out of my friend Zach's Honda and, and it was like, why is this door so big? Like I can lay across the door sill. Yeah, they, anyway, they are goofy cars. Like they are pretty goofy. Yeah, they're they're, it's it's something else. But the wheel choice is fantastic. The color choice is fantastic. I'm really glad that he didn't just go with a straight black wheel on this. Yes, same. Um, I feel like that would have really killed it. I, I respect it. Cool. I respect it. So he's on XXR 527s. It's a great starter wheel. They look cool. I see him on a lot of like front wheel drive cars. They and look like, good. I see him on SRTs and stuff. Yeah, the great, great wheel to start off with. They're really affordable and stuff like that. The wing, it's okay. It, it's a little bit different. Um, I like more how it looks from the side profile or kind of like front angle shot rather than the rear. The rear it just, maybe a diffuser would help or it needs something else back yeah. there to help it kind of complete yeah. the look. Um, but yeah, overall, it, it's cool. I'd like to see a little bit more done to it. On three. One, two, three, seven. Seven and a half. All right, not bad. 2016 Fiat 500 on some AGs and some wow, STs. Wow, this is baller. Suspension size? coilovers. The size, we're looking at 16 by eight wow. plus 15. Massive. <laughs> oh boy. So this is ruined a bar. But yeah, the fact he's on AGs, what? Like you have yeah, AGs on your Fiat 500, that's dope. That's so dope. Um, from the it just looks so cool. I don't know why I like these so much. Something about this like little pocket car that can rip and like it's just, yeah. I'm sure it's a blast to drive. It's gotta be super fun. Color choice on the wheels is great. It goes with the theme of the car. So yeah, this thing has like a bubble butt. Super cool. I like the tinted tail lights on here. It's just awesome. I like it. It's gotta be a blast to drive. Yeah, it's like it's like a warm pearl white color. What's up with the back window? I've never seen that before. It's like a, it's like an arrow back window that's cover. What I'm saying. That, I think if you look like in the other phone, you see it folds down. down. Yeah. That's, oh. like a, that's neat. It's kind of like a yeah, soft top kind of thing. I've though. never. Oh, yeah, okay. Kind of wow, I've never noticed that. Huh. Yeah, the the library and everything that's going on with this, it's it really pulls it together really well, and I'm just super impressed with the wheels. My main thing is, man, I, I just want to drive it. I hate that I like it because <laughs> I think the execution is absolutely perfect. I think like he had a vision in mind and the execution of it was spot on. I mean, it looks fitment's really good. Yeah. Like the fitment's really nice. Like it looks like, like it's, it's just about race to... ready. Yeah. It's ready to go. It's, uh, it's cool. super cool. I, it's too I, cool. I love the, the style that he went with it. Um, I think it's awesome. All right, on three. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Nine. Eight. All right, well, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of From the Gallery Woo! Hot Hatch Edition. Did you have a good time, Keith? Da, 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 da. Yeah, it was okay. great. Awesome. Great. Glad to hear it. Dakota, did you have a good time? I had a blast. Awesome. I had a good time, too. Thank great. you for coming. Wow, <laughs> thanks. Don't forget, if you want your car featured in an upcoming episode, drop it into the gallery at fitmanindustries.com forward slash ad. And then That's send us an magic. email <laughs> at shop at fitmanindustries.com. I'll do it again. <laughs> Let the subject line review my car. We'll make sure to get in an upcoming episode. But I'm Gels. I'm Dakota. I'm Keith. Don't forget about the BBS giveaway. Free wheels, pick up the t-shirt. Hurry up, I'm waving already. He's oh. waving already. Okay. We will Can see I, you later. I'm gonna do the Dakota wave too. All right. Copy your Peace.